This video is going to show you how to make coffee and steam milk for various drinks using the Smeg Espresso coffee machine. Check out our other video on how to set up this machine prior to first use. Firstly, make an espresso. Place the cup or mug on the drip tray. Next, insert the filter into the filter holder. You can choose from a double shot or a single shot of coffee. Insert firmly into the filter holder. Next, take the scoop and fill with ground coffee. Finely ground coffee works best for an espresso. Use the tamp on the base to press firmly into place, making sure to evenly distribute throughout the filter holder. Insert the filter holder into the machine. Align the arrow with the filter holder and twist into the centre. It should sit securely. Press the single or double espresso button to pull through your coffee. If using a paper pod, insert into the paper pod filter and repeat the same procedure as with the ground coffee. To make an Americano, follow these same steps. It's possible to remove the drip tray if you're using a larger cup or mug. When it comes to programming the coffee, press and hold the button until the desired amount of coffee has been reached. This will then save as a memory setting. When you next press this button, it will pull through the same amount of coffee. The button will now flash to confirm that this new quantity has been saved. To froth the milk for drinks such as cappuccinos and lattes, first of all begin by making an espresso in a mug or glass. Next, press the steam button. This will take a few seconds to heat the water to boiling. The light will flash as it's heating up. Once it's reached temperature, the light will remain solid. Fill a stainless steel jug with approximately 100 millilitres of whole milk. Then place under the steam wand and turn down the steam lever. Place the steam wand a few millimetres into the milk and allow to foam. Once the volume of milk has doubled, immerse the frothing nozzle for a cappuccino all the way and heat the milk up to 60 degrees. The jug should feel like a hot radiator. Stop the steam by turning the steam lever back to the off position. It's important to wipe down the nozzle after every use. Gently swirl the milk to create a glossy foam. If there are any larger air bubbles, gently tap the jug on the surface. Pour the milk directly over your fresh espresso. To prepare more than one drink with steamed milk, prepare all of your espressos first and then move over to steaming of the milk. If you wish to make another espresso after you've steamed milk, you'll need to allow the boiler to cool down first, either by waiting or by expressing the steam. Take a container and place this under the steam wand. Lower the steam lever to expel any excess steam to reduce the boiler temperature. You can now make a wide selection of drinks, including cortados, lattes, and even mochas and hot chocolates. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe.